Okay, so we're at the place where we were, the fork in the road. So we're gonna go this way and we're gonna see if there's anything down here. Since there wasn't anything down by the burned forest, maybe they will have left some kind of trail out this way. I hope. Because otherwise I've lost him. C to use disposable camera. I'm pressing C. Doesn't actually work. I have to put the compass away. Yeah. Oh, not what I wanted. Take a picture. See the lower camera. Okay. Um. Let's try a supply drop over here. I have a feeling they might be this way. I don't know. Okay, here's a supply drop. Supply cache. Let's see if there's anything good in here. Probably shouldn't be picking up all this stuff, like, right on the first or second day, but hey. Oh, uh, I should actually have that be three, and then four. Okay. Let's see. Two forks. Spruce. Moss Peak. Close. Okay, so there's nothing there. <coughs> Is there anything out here that indicates which way they would have gone? Anything at all? Death. <laughs> that way. Um. Anything? No, not really. Okay, so the only other way they could have gone was down towards Thoroughfare. So I guess we'll go that way and see if we can't find find something. Let's see, is there anything up here? Beer cans, come on. Oh, what's this? This looks like a fun place. A zip line. Cable car. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No oh. kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it. Huh. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I got, I, got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta get out of here. A tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! <sighs> Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Yep. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. <laughs> okay, so that's not where they went, obviously. Let's see. Where else might they be? Somewhere around here, I assume. Um. So this is the way to th thoroughfare. Is that way? Okay. Well, I guess. Hmm. They're not that way. Slightly concerned that I can't seem to find them anywhere. But, maybe they did go down past the mule area in any case, because there wouldn't be, and there's nothing there, and, hmm, I don't know. Well, I guess we're going back again. Do with you taking this job, or did you just fall prey to the service's big recruiting push? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Um, uh, tiny bit of misdialogue about stuff. I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck. What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. Uh, something like that? Now, well, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer that accounted for this, um... Windfall. 
Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground. Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. And what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> jumpsuit, beautiful. Okay, so I guess we climb up here. Not really sure this is getting me anywhere as far as, like, finding these teens goes, but okay. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm not going to get back to Two Forks very well. Uh, what if I go up this way? Anything up here? Not really, I guess. Hmm. Well, I guess it's the same way, okay. So we just go back up this way. So I could be wandering around here all day, basically, and they wouldn't even... Uh... Beer can? Anything? Come on. I, it, I can't just wander around in the forest all day. I mean, it's not like I have a job to do or anything like that. <laughs> it's not like this is my job. Oh, wait. Hmm. Never mind. Turtle. Aww. I'm adopting you. You're mine now. I'm going in my pocket. I'm gonna take this turtle with me. He will be my friend. Long drop down. Oh, that is a long drop. Okay. Two Forks and Jonesy Lake. Which way do I want to go, I guess? I want to go this way. Down towards the lake, since maybe that's where they are. This is open. Oh, this is the... Okay, this is the supply drop by the lake. Got it. Okay. So let's head... Oh, wait, what? Thin column of smoke. I don't see it. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Oh, I see it now. Got it. Now I see it. So to the southwest, so we go this way. Oh look. Cripple Gulch. Yep. And now we go down this way and hope that we don't die. Southwest, so I should probably have my compass out just to make sure that I don't get confused. Where do I want to go? This way, I think. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Maybe this this way. This way might be better. A little more to the south. I don't actually know if I can get up there. Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Where do I go? Can I climb out of this? I can. 
Oh. Okay, so I guess we go this way. Wait, where is the thin column of smoke? I lost it. There it is. Oh, it's that way. Okay, well I guess I can go down this way. We'll see. This seems like the best way to go, I suppose. Can I rappel down, please? Let's not die. Preferable death preferred. Wait, preferable not death preferred. <laughs> okay. What does she have? She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Uh, scary. We were scared shitless. We went straight to the doctor after her first spell or whatever. They diagnosed her and we were both just very scared. Can't really tell when Julia is scared. She just gets quiet. She was very quiet. Okay, let's see if there's anything in here. Q. Mitch Michaels, 31, height 6'2", 165 pounds, short brown hair, stiff facial hair. Last year on Jonesy Lake, July 3rd, 1981. First report of missing, July 29th, Forest Service. Not known to be familiar with the area. Jonesy Lake, morning of July 3rd. Interesting. Guess I'll drop that. Um. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Huh. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Oh, nice. Okay. I guess I see the stream. So I follow it this way, right? Yeah. This is neat. I like the story in this game. Oh, that was the hot water heater going on. Oh, look. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. And I love the music too. This is really nice music. I guess I want to go down this way and continue going that way. Okay, so let's keep going this way. Waterfall? It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Hmm. Anything interesting at the waterfall? Doesn't look like it. Oh, more beer cans. Roger that. I want to take 
picture of the camera. Or take a picture of the waterfall, rather. Put the compass away. be hiking at. Over this way, maybe? I would guess so. Hmm. Well, I guess this is gonna be a lot of, like, running around and looking, so I will come back when there is some interesting dialogue. Ooh. Hey, what's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you'll wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. Waste my pictures on pretty things. Okay. So I'll come back when I find the girls, or anything so, interesting. Oh, or not. You meet? Met in a bar. Birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. <laughs> yep, I'll do it. Okay, so I'm wandering back in terms of where their stuff might be. So if there's a beer can over this way. I guess I should be going over here? Yeah. Okay, so we just hit a save point, so I'm sure there's something up here somewhere, because, you know, games don't just auto-save randomly for no reason at all. I don't- I haven't found- oh, there's something. There's a campfire? What? It said stomp out. Is that it? Oh, it's over there. Site and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That no, seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Ah, found my sheets. <laughs> so they did break into your tower. Looks like I have entered the teen zone. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. Yep. There's some dedication. The tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a like a bear or um I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever huh. did it did not hold back. Uh some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh that's not good. Torn clothing. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. I hope you're happy. We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped us, creeped on us in the lake and came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. And stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental axe murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks. Huh. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Oh, they're gone for sure. What's it say? I'm pressing to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, uh, did you? No. I didn't do anything to them. It looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know. But they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Yep. Day three. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yep. Good. Uh. 
you again. I thought we went over this. <laughs> 